one. Bonjour tout le monde. Today we're talking about les pronoms objets indirects or indirect object pronouns in French. So a couple of definitions that you're going to want to make sure that you know. We've learned already our objet direct, the object which is directly acted upon. So we've talked about our pronom objet, indirect, uh, pronom objet direct, where we're replacing the direct object. So here you'll see we have an example of a direct object, elle mange le gâteau. Uh, if you can ask yourself what is being eaten and you can answer that, then that's a direct object. <clears throat> uh, so that's the cake. Les pronoms objets direct are words that are used to replace direct objects. So we have elle le mange because we replace le gâteau, which was our direct object. Direct objects can be people or things. Then we have our pronom réfléchi, which is a pronoun that shows that the subject is also the object of the verb. Um, so if we see right here, je me rase, I am all the one shaving as well as the one being shaved because I am shaving myself. Uh, our pronom réfléchi can only be people because the people are the ones doing the actions to themselves. Today we're going to talk about objet indirect, so indirect objects. Um, these are the objects to whom or for whom the action is being done. So if you see this example, we have nous envoyons les lettres à nos mères. To whom are the letters being sent? Oh, it's à nos mères, to our mothers. So we have this word à, which in the English translates to to. That word is extremely essential because that tells you that we have an indirect object. Other words like pour can mean that you have an indirect object as well. Our pronoun objet indirect is the pronoun that's used to replace an indirect object. And four of those are the same as our direct object pronouns and our reflexive pronouns. And then in the third person, we have two different object pronouns. So here's our example. We have nous leur envoyons les lettres. We had here, nous envoyons les lettres à nos mères. This word, leur, replaced à nos mères to mean to them. So, nous leur envoyons les lettres, we send the letters to them. Here are indirect object pronouns. You'll see that we have the first, second, and third person. In the first and second persons, we're using the same pronouns as we did with direct object pronouns and reflexive pronouns. So that's kind of easy. So we have right here, mu, which is our first person singular, which will replace a moi. So if I'm saying something like I speak to myself, je me parle, I speak to myself. Okay, that actually is also reflexive. Right here, if we're saying a nu, we're going to replace it with nu. So if we say he talks to us, il parle à nu, Il nous parle. He speaks to us. Uh, we have tu will replace à toi. Vous will replace à vous. In our third person, we have lui as our singular, which will be à plus a single person. So if we're saying he speaks to Mathieu, il lui parle, he speaks to him. That's replacing that à Mathieu to the person. And then là will be à plus person. So if we're saying uh, he speaks to Mathieu et Caroline, il parle à Mathieu et Caroline, il leur parle. He speaks to them. We have some rules that we need to make sure we follow. Our indirect object pronouns will actually follow those same rules of placement and um, what they're replacing as our direct object pronouns, except we're doing it with indirect objects. So you notice it's place before the verb giving its action. So right here, tu vas parler au prof, we have two verbs here. We have tu vas and parler, you are going to speak to the teachers. When we are replacing au prof, because that's a form of a plus a person, or persons rather, we will say tu vas leur parler. We put leur before parler because we had au prof. Now remember, with a, you can have a, o, a, u, or o, a, u, x, when we have plural. Like I said, our object, uh, our indirect object pronouns will place, replace a plus an indirect object. So, elle donne un cadeau à moi. We're replacing a moi to me. Elle me donne un cadeau. And then our negative, just like with our reflexive object pronouns and with our direct object pronouns, will go around the object pronoun and the verb. So we have, elle ne me donne pas un cadeau.
Elle me donne un cadeau, elle ne me donne pas un cadeau. Rappelez, remember that you must make your object pronoun agree with the person and the number of the indirect object replaced. It's going to replace a plus people, never things. So, for example, we have je donne le cadeau à ma mère. À ma mère is a person, so we can say je lui donne le cadeau. But if we're trying to say je jette la balle au mur, I throw the ball at the wall, um, you cannot use la, uh, lui because that's a thing. So you would have to say, je jette la balle. Um, we're not going to worry about e for a little bit, but right now we're focusing on those indirect object pronouns, which can only replace people. Now, there are some verbs that will always indicate that they need an indirect object pronoun. So you need to memorize this list of verbs and refer to it often. We're going to call it les verbes de page 53. So we have assister à, which means to attend. Uh, if we want to say to attend the meeting, assister à la réunion. Donner quelque chose à quelqu'un, to give someone something. Demander à quelqu'un, to ask someone something. Dem Demander quelque chose à quelqu'un, to ask someone something. Désobéir à, which is to disobey. Dire à, which is to say or to tell. Conseiller à, is to advise. Croire à, which is irregular. Quara is to believe something. Notice that in English, we don't normally say believe at. But in French, you always will say quara, believe at or believe to. So these are verbs that a lot of times in English are not going to feel like they have a to or an at, but they must have that in French. More, we've got emprunter quelque chose à quelqu'un, to borrow something from someone. Envoyer à quelqu'un, to send something to someone. Faire attention à, to pay attention to. S'intéresser à, to be interested in, which you can note is also a reflexive verb. Obéir à, which is to obey. Parler à, is to talk to. Penser à, is to think of or about. À répondre à, to answer. And téléphoner à, to call. Now, for your a buffet, make sure you write down this entire sentence in your notes. You're going to replace the indirect object that is repeated from the first half of the sentence to the second half of the sentence, okay? So, right here, we need to, um, we have Jean-Pierre, I like Pierre, donc je parle à Pierre. Find the indirect object and replace it with the correct indirect object pronoun, rewriting the sentence. Okay, à bientôt!